and um, as you can see, Carlo is not here today. He's busy. And also, James is not here, but he's be sitting in the back anyway. So it's just he might be back soon. Yeah, he might be. Okay, so it's just me, Lily, and and William. Just us today, and yeah. um, Adam's usually out of town also. yeah, Adam's out of town as well, so we can't play Minecraft on the usual server. So this time we're just gonna do an LAN game. So I it's just the two could. of us. I mean, we could play it on the regular server, but we're just gonna do this one. Yeah, but that might ruin continuity. <laughs> <It's> Minecraft. <laughs> okay, but um, whatever. So we're just gonna play some Minecraft today. Yeah. Yeah, just right. usual. Let's see. Are you gonna switch it? Okay. Very awesome. Professional today. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Are, you, are they going to be able to hear you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, how about... I'm going to... How about we shift the stuff over? Yeah, we'll just move the stuff over. Sorry, it's a uh, very casual, just two of us today. Yeah. Just order a couple computers and all that. Yep. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Okay, this... Okay, that we'll just have to do, I think. Speaking of it, <laughs> yeah, that, the that mic hasn't... stand just uh, popped off. Yeah, awesome. it, it hasn't actually screwed in a long time. It is. I've dropped it a couple times. Oh, jeez. I mean, it still works. <laughs> I, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I think this is. Oh, is she in the midway point between two of us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. So uh, this is an uh, update. 1.3, so 1. there's 3. lots. Point one. 1.3, point one. 1.13. Oh, oops. 1.13. Excuse me. Um, we have a difference. Yeah, but we're in the have the aquatic update. So this is a game that I've made. You're on survival mode, yes? Uh, I've got hearts. I've got hunger. Okay, I can, awesome. Uh, I can break things. I think. <laughs> you think? I didn't put you on adventure mode. Don't worry yeah. about that. Okay, so. What, this kind, of, is what th kind of monster does that? <laughs> really? So this is a game that I've uh, already made on my own, on my own time. So you can go ahead and explore if you want to. Yeah. But I mean, remember they're watching your projector. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll be following you around. Alright. What's, what's this? Oh, um, I had a, I had a donkey, like, tied up here, but I put it over there. Oh. Got your multicolored sheep on? Yes. I love having multicolored sheep. It's so nice. So I have all the all the wool. So you go up there. You can change the uh, regeneration or whatever this beacon stuff requirements. And I changed the color to pink because I like pink. Sure. Yeah. Pink beacon. Oh, you got some uh, chorus fruits up there. And some large mushrooms. Yep. That's my farm over there. My multi-layered farm. Oh, jeez. You want to build yourself some armor from stuff in my house? I guess. If you, if you look at my house, you still notice that part part of it is sunken into the water. And the way to go down there is over here. Uh-huh. Sneaky. Yeah. This is where you enchant and brew, enchant stuff and then brew potions. I have a brewing guide, like, right there. Yeah. Like, up here on the wall. <laughs> so I just basically wrote down in the book, like, so I don't have to look up on look it up on the wiki. That um, I don't have to look up on the wiki like so many times, like how to how to brew different potions. Sure. Yeah. And 
And that milk is to cancel any potion effects that you have. What? You're just flipping around the book? Oh, also, if you look out the window, you see something. Can you see something interesting, interesting out there? Um. Oh, was that one of those uh, new things? Yeah. It's called a conduit. Yeah. And so basically, if you go outside and swim, you don't have to. Um, they, it'll basically it, it give you water breathing and like night vision and stuff. So if we can go, you can go up, go up and look at it if you want to. Yeah, lots of captain. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It like uh, attacks monsters too, right? Yeah, it does. It's awesome looking. Yeah. Let me change my game mode. Yeah. So what game mode are you in? Uh, creative. So I'll change to creative right now. But I mean, that's survival, excuse me. So I'm just like you. Uh, hey! What was that for? I was just, just making sure. <laughs> you got a uh, thorns on your armor. Yeah. You can enchant like some really some really cool stuff if you go back inside and you can do things. Cause I got a lot of lots of materials. That's my that's my lava heated bath. And here is basically just like a dock where you can fish off of. There's, I think there's some string here. Uh, oh, there should be more sticks in the house. Hang on. I'm sure you got like a tree farm somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's out basically where the animals are. There's those oak trees and the surrounding forest. He killed uh, two dragons. <laughs> And here's some villagers. You can trade with them. If, you got, if you've got the stuff. Good trades here? Yeah. Where is this kit? Yeah, take, you can take that minecart, yeah. You only have one? Yeah. So it, the other one's at the other end, so. <laughs> I just made an easy way to like just get over to this uh, this part of the um, land. Can, can you not get out? Uh. Are you doing okay? You can't left shift out. Oh, there you go. I think I think Carlos switched to that. He switched the. Sprint and sneak button. Oh, jeez. I don't know why. You want to get yourself some gear and stuff? I put signs above the um, which materials is which. Kind of dim in here. It is. Oh, there's. I think it's just my brightness setting. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Put some more torches. Oh, that didn't really make much of a difference. You like walked right past where I put all the metal and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just exploring? Just looking for diamonds. Oh. They're over here, man. But the metals and coal? Yeah. But diamonds are neither of those. I just, just look at <laughs> Just uh, take whatever you need. I'll just, I'll just take some iron. Oh. Just some iron? I 
give you a half a stack of cooked chicken. Sweet to start off with. I like slots of advancements. You want to enchant those downstairs? Oh, they're glowing, yeah. Oh, I have no electricity. Oh, darn. That's oh, I have some enchanted books here, actually. You can use some of those. I think I still need XP for those, though. I mean, I have, I have anvil. Like, you can just append, like, the enchantments to the... Oh, no, yeah, you're right. You still do need... Darn it. Huh. How'd this get here? I built it. Is it, like, a, like a recipe now, or...? I mean, like, with silk touch and things. Oh, you can silk touch, too? I think so. Well, I mean, you remember that I just got out of creative mode, right? Yeah. <laughs> I give you an out. <laughs> give me the benefit of the doubt? Yeah. Why'd you turn my... <laughs> Don't get okay, upside down. That was like a while ago. Oh, <laughs> didn't even notice. Huh. But yeah, let's. I have actually have not explored the area around here because I was building all this. So how about we go and explore? Uh, this this is off center. Look at it. Yeah, I know. It's kind of bothersome. Oh, you can like make dried kelp now. Yeah. Is that so a, what's that for? So like, if you if you uh, if you like if you like burn the kelp in the furnace, it turns into dried turns into dried kelp, sure. and then you make nine pieces of kelp into a block, uh -huh. and it functions like it. It's actually like one of like the second longest like burn times in the furnace or whatever, sure. other than a block of coal or like a bucket of lava. Uh -huh. It's actually pretty nice. Do you have any uh, wood? Yeah. Oh. I need to make some uh, forges actually. Okay, this is too much coal. Hang on. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> It is James. How's it going? It's going good. We're playing an LAN game. Oh, yeah. Admin passwords for everything on that computer. What's that? Need admin passwords for everything on that computer. Oh really? Yeah. Like we couldn't. I couldn't install a Stardew Valley. Uh -huh. Couldn't get a um, like game capture running. Oh, I did see you here. You are streaming. That's yeah. great. Yeah, we're streaming from my computer. Okay. Yeah. And I see you're running like a little a little private LAN. Computer. Yes, yeah, which is awesome. Pad. It's what? Release pad? Yes, it is. Exactly. Do you have any uh, wool? I want to make a decorated my shield. Are you showing it over the wired network or the uh, wireless? Uh, if you're on that computer, it's probably the wired network. Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's wireless. The, uh, I just open my computer up into LAN. Okay. And then he just connects it to me. Well, no, I'm surprised we were able to connect. Yeah, you can go... Um, uh, 
uh, clip the wool from those sheep over there. Yeah, I want to decorate my shield. There's a light blue sheep and like a cyan sheep. Yeah, but I want blue. Huh? That's strange. Where did my blue sheep go? Wait, did you already... You have some blue wool in hand. Did you already clip? Oh, you're waiting for it to regenerate. I see. Oh my gosh. What was that? I got hit by that cactus. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a little 3D print of like the one of the gates outside the campus. I mean inside the campus, excuse mm -hmm. me. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's the uh, Caesar Chavez yep. monument, I think. We scanned it uh, on Friday. Oh, wow. Hey, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's totally recognizable. And it's black, too. That, that appeals to me. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what else you could scan. Uh, we also scanned uh, the turd. I think uh, what else would make a good uh, print like that? Yeah. Any kind of statue or else. I want you to eat. <laughs> Thanks. Just need two more. <laughs> We're just standing here all waiting for the sheep to. Yeah. All the grass grow. Sheep with wool. Do you have like uh, one of each? or? Yeah, just one of each. I mean, you could try a patterned shield. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Like, so you know how I was trying to find the uh, flowers before? G yeah. Um, so I was trying to make like a like a game dev banner to put on my shield. Oh, I see. I need like a blue base for it. Hey, do you have any flowers? I do not. Huh. We can go look for some. Yeah. Need a uh, oxide daisy. Okay. Plus, I need some uh, yellow and orange back. Yellow and orange. You can find like dandelions and. Yeah. That's not gonna be too hard. Just the uh, yeah, there's dandelions across the river. I see it now. Yeah, roses. Frame rate's not great on the uh, on the stream. It's what? Frame rate's not great. What? Uh, frame rate's not very good. Yeah, I know. That's just my computer. No, oh, I mean it's running a lot smoother on your computer than on the stream. And if you look up a bit. Yeah, I know. I see it, but like, yeah. there's nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, just need better hardware, I think. Mhm. Mm I mean, I've been wanting that for years. I think it might. I remember we had that big uh, desktop before. We, we still have that. But yeah. the data for this world is on this computer, so. I mean, just for running uh, OBS. Oh, oh. I mean, I'd love to work out that process. Yeah. It would be nice if it was, like, not as bulky. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what to do for that. Oops. I'm gonna make some arrows. I 
I'm sorry. some potions for my arrows, I think. Alright. You need to find a uh, flames. I think you can find uh, flowers there. Okay. I don't know exactly how to add hmm? arrow. How do I add pendants to it? Hang on a second. Maybe it's like eight arrows or something? Like because you know how you can have like different kinds of arrows, right? For yeah. Yeah, I don't remember the recipe though. Let me see. Never actually did it myself. I'll I'll look it up. like a thing of lava next to your potato farm. Oh yeah, that's for poisonous potatoes. Oh. It's a trash can. Yep, it is. Oh, I need a lingering potion of harming. Oh. I see. I have some dragon's breath, so... Okay. Yeah. Giant mushrooms on top of the giant mushrooms. I did because there wasn't enough room. <laughs> huh. So you can do that as long as you put dirt there and then plant the mushrooms. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. What, bef way before like this update or whatever yeah. um, before I used to like make um, I used to uh, crap what did I used to do I used to like find ravines and like create like a kind of like an aesthetic where I was like a witch just brewing potions all day in a ravine? yeah hmm. like kind of just like a what was I going to do? oh yes I need to put some dragons back So you, so you need the uh, blaze fire to power the brewing stand? I need a what? Oh yeah, yeah, you do. Huh. But blaze powder can be used in the um, potions themselves, which is yeah. funny. What's that for again? What, the blaze powder? Yeah. I think it's a potion of strength. Huh. Nice. Got a lingering potion of harming. Okay. Yeah, it's eight arrows. Ah! Yeah, because I guess then it's like eight potions to an arrow. Mm -hmm. I know, the other way around. I see, I see, I see. Okay. 
Makes like, you sense. only need one, one potion to make eight arrows. That's true. There's no recipe for it on the recipe book, which makes me kind of angry because I have to do this manually. Hmm. The thing is, I have a infinity enchantment on my bow, which makes me confused. Because I should only need one arrow in my inventory. Hmm. Actually, Here. yeah, does it... If it's infinity, does it not use up the, uh, the potion arrow at the end? Oh yeah, that's right. Doesn't affect the uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Whoopsies. I mean, fair enough, right? Yeah, fair enough. Or else it'd be too OP. What? Are you are you okay climbing up that ladder? Yeah. You know, something funny happened. Yeah. I was trying to sleep in that bed and mark my new spawn point, right? Yeah. But even the compass wouldn't let me, like, <coughs> wouldn't let me, um, excuse me, <laughs> wouldn't let me reset the spawn point. Because, like, yeah, when I pulled out a compass, it still pointed to the original spawn. Yeah. So, which is weird. Yeah. In real life, compasses point towards north, no matter what you what you want. Yeah. Well, I guess that would be the magnetic center wherever a player spawns. Yeah. It's kind of weird if you think about it. Yeah. Or just spawning in general. I want a full stack at least. I only oh. have about 32 right now. 40 now. Anything I can do? Um, you can brew some potions for yourself. Yeah. Like potions of healing and stuff. Should be okay. Or yeah. it. Need these uh, instant damage to lingering potions. Yeah. I'll uh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank How you. many more do you need? I think this will be enough. Okay. Yep, yeah, I have a full stack now. Do you want some arrows? Uh, I should be okay. Okay. You know, you're not really much of an archer, huh? I mean, I could be if I wanted to. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I guess I could hurt if I took a bow, yeah. Okay, let me put all this stuff back. Miscellaneous. Hang on, let me put that in for you. Alright, that'll do. Okay, awesome. Uh, I don't need this rabbit hide, so I'll put that in. I have some roasted rabbit, some cooked chicken, and some coal. Maybe I should take some wood with me for sticks. Yeah, wood's always good to have.
I'll take some diamond as well to repair my stuff. Do you think I should take an anvil with me? So I can repair my things? I suppose. How much XP do you have? How what? How much XP do you have? None. <laughs> but I assume I'll get some during our journey. That's true. Oh, this, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you don't use a lot of, um, like, iron blocks in crafting that much. Yeah. That's like, the anvil's like the only time where you do. Yeah. Uh, I think I am ready. You got, like, an aquarium by your bed? Yes. Oh, I put some tropical fish in there, but they keep despawning. Need name tags, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's true. Can you paint fish? I'm not sure. Same with all Nemo. It's all the same. Yeah. I think you can... I, I think you don't even need the name tag. I think you just put the bucket... Like, you can take a bucket and a scoop of fish. Right, right, yeah. I think you just put that in the anvil and it works. Alright, let's go exploring. Wait, hang on, let me look at the coordinates for this place. He is. I don't want to get lost. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Feeding my dogs? Yeah. I'm just gonna walk down. It's too much of a hassle. Yeah. Okay, William, you lead the way. Yep. I haven't explored this place much, so. So did you um, just make this world? Um, yeah, it's everything else is pretty much unspoiled country. Because I spent all my time building that house. You have an arrow in your foot. It happens. <laughs> it just happens. That's an interesting formation. Just a bunch of dirt here. What do you want to do? Find some flowers. We're on a flower hunting quest. Very specific flower. I think we need a different biome though. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Maybe let's get in some boats. Oh, okay. He's the coast is over there. Yeah, you know where it is. Yeah. Let's get to the sand. Oh, that's it. No, you keep going. <laughs> keep yeah, look, going. Look at this river, Lily. Wow, it's so amazing. Immense. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll oh, try to take the crafting table with me. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, let's choose a direction and go. I do like these uh, kelp forests. Oh, I think they're gorgeous. I love them. Yeah, like the oceans in Minecraft used to be so bare. Yeah, they were. I guess they wanted to. Ch I guess the developers wanted to change that for a long time. 
So I look at random subtitles and go like, "Bat takes off." Like, "Bat yeah. takes off of where?" I'm in the open ocean. I think sometimes when it's just like dark, and yeah. it's like uh, it'll just generate bats. Yeah. Well, I think it's like, like you know how sometimes you get random sounds, like yeah. creepy sounds. I think it's just like when it's dark nearby. Yeah, when there's like a cavern below you. Yeah. A swamp. Oh yes, maybe we'll find a witch's house. Oh geez, my hair is like really bad. Yeah, I'm getting a tiny bit of rubber banded. I touched that little bit. Oh, I love oh. this. Uh, how how clear the water is here. Normally in swamps, that's that's not what happens. Yeah, actually, it's <laughs> a little strange. Yeah. Oh, there's some blue flowers over there. Huh? Yeah, it's not the one I want though. Oh. It's like a uh, upside daisy. Yeah, like the white ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're pretty flowers, though. Yeah. I forget what these are. The uh, blue orchid. Alright. Have you ever heard of the Woodland Mansions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I encountered one the other day because I was looking for a village seed. Yeah. And like, it was, it's freaking massive in there. Yeah. Easily can become a player house. And there's a mansion. Yeah. Some chickens. Yep, chickens. Swamp chickens. Whoa, suddenly it got all deep here. What is that? Oh, it's dolphins and some cod down there. Because yeah. the swamp suddenly changed to regular ocean. What are you doing? For dolphins. They're over here. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, over here. Right below me. Well, there's some cod down there. Where'd the dolphin go? I already ran, swam away, I think. But I can hear the subtitles. Yeah, I see the, I see the fish definitely. Yeah, I saw the dolphin just there a second ago. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, some pigs over there. Are you sure you don't just want dandelions or do you really want the light yellow? No, it's uh, for the oxide daisies you can make like a, a different pattern on the banner. Oh, okay. I love the changes in the color of the water. Yeah. It's really nice looking. would say that it will one day grow big big and strong but it that's actually not, that's not how this works. Yeah, it's not how this works. Hey, I think I see a dolphin down Yeah, there. there's a dolphin. Just swim into a school of a squid down there. I can see a waterfall starting to come down from there. Oh yeah. Like it was just generated. Yeah. Jeez. Like it didn't exist five seconds ago. Yeah. Oh look at these huge mountains here. Oh this is so nice. This is a new biome. Behind you. 
Oh, wow. Define physics. That's, uh... Matrix, not today. Matrix is. You want to go climb up? Yeah. Scar tip. Sure is. Oh, jeez. This is how totally like real life mountain climbing works. Oh yeah, field take. Yep. Just leaping your way up slipper slippery slopes, you know. Yeah. Pretty little valley. Could have built my house here too. Nice place. So nice. You know what I used to do uh, yeah. when I played Minecraft is that I would just hollow out the inside of a big mountain and make that my house. Oh, that's floating gravel. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Yep, where'd you go? Um, Did you go up the mountain? Oh, there you are. Where's you now? I if I can make it into the water from here. Well, I'll go down a little bit further before I try. Ouch. Ouch. Is this set on? Easy. Oh, I see some lava. Yeah. Wow, those are some really big lava flows. Yeah. Try to like one source block them. Yeah. Well, this is a really nice structure, like mountain. Yeah. That's interesting topography. Yeah. Could totally think of like a mountain fortress here with a bridge connecting these two mountains. Yeah, yeah. That'd be dope. You don't mind some of this coal yeah. for its XP.
getting myself some extra food. <laughs> Maybe I should kick it up to normal. Yeah. This is a little bit too quiet. I think you might want to take to the water, actually. Wait, I just killed a pig. Let me get the XP. Uh -huh. Alright, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, that's a drowned. It's moving right for a sec. Okay. Yeah, because it can swim. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, I think it's like... And also when, we have, when you have a lot of knockback, like the experience appears where the uh, body like despawns. Yeah. Like the drops appear where you killed it, but... You sent it flying. Yeah, I did send it flying. Yeah. There we go. I always uh, yep. use a boat in third person, or else I can't see anything. Oh, that's interesting structure too. Yeah, it looks like a face. Yeah. Oh, dolphin. Hello, dolphin. I think this is what you like to do in Minecraft, huh? You like exploring. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I think I like exploring a little more in uh, Minecraft than Terraria. I think something about having like a 3D world kind of... Yeah. You actually feel like you're seeing- Oh, that's a dark forest over there. Yeah. Dark oak. You wanna go exploring there? Yeah. Saw some skeletons, I think. Oh, I hear a witch! Yeah. Oh, she's right there! Yeah. There, I killed her. Ooh, she dropped some interesting stuff. Spider's eyes, and redstone, some, uh, huh, interesting. She also dropped a stick for some reason. Is that her yeah. magic wand? Sure. <laughs> See a uh, creeper head. The only thing I don't like about these giant mushrooms is that they barely drop anything. Yeah. There is a spider in a zombie in that direction, I think. Right. Oh yeah, there is a creep right there. Killed it. these red mushrooms too. 
like that mod where when you have a torch in your hand it lights up the area around you. Oh yeah. That would have been nice right now. Yeah. Should try taking on the Ender Dragon later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, baby zombie! Uh, watch out! Hard to see much of anything in this forest. No. a whole birch forest. <laughs> That's just my arrows. No, I think it's an uh, actual forest fire. What? Yeah. Let me check it out. Oh, there you are. I was about to teleport myself to you. That seems kind of... Okay, yeah, that is definitely a fire happening. Oh, carrot. Yeah, there's a... It's like a lava pool. Right near the trees. That's usually yeah. how it happens. Interesting. See? That means I can get rid of some stuff. Yeah. I have too much clutter in my inventory. I'm gonna make some bowls for a uh, stew. Oh, yeah. Do you need some chicken? Um, I'm good. I have lots of chicken. Wouldn't it be funny if you can fish in lava? Yeah. It's 317 now. Yeah. Oh yeah, we found the flowers! Ta -da -da -da. 
Oh, I wonder if we can find a village. That'd be nice. Or a jungle. Or a jungle village. Oh, jungle village. That'd be kind of cool. Because it's very common to find villages in these grasslands. Oh my gosh! That's so cool! You made it! So you can put it on your shield now, right? Yeah. I want to make, um... I want to make more of them. Okay. Oh! Like, we can sorry. copy them if we have, uh, if we have more blue banners. Like, oh. uh, plain blue. Uh, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, let's make more copies then. Yep. So you want to return back? Maybe. Uh, we found what we were looking for. Maybe I don't have to go back the same way. Yeah, that's true. Actually, how do we go back? Uh, I actually have a have a have a record of the coordinates. Oh, oh on your phone. Yeah. Let me take a quick look. Okay, so our current coordinates were at negative one thousand ish, seventy, and then three forty. So our Y is staying mostly the same, so that's okay. Yeah, that's to be expected. So our X and Z has a change. So we're gonna go this way, I think. Yeah. No, that's not right. Other way. Um. Okay, let's change our X first to be the same. Sure. So we're gonna head for negative 450. All right, I'll follow you. Okay. I think we're going to travel mostly this direction. Yeah. We can take the uh, river here. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Oops. Dropped all my torches. Jeez. Ow. I was trying to get my boat out. Dropped all my torches in the process. We travel mostly by water, so I think this should not be too hard. Yeah. Like, water travels pretty quick when you have a boat. Yeah. New boat circle. Whoops, this Speedy is the wrong direction. Dolphin. We'll go this way. Yeah, the new boats are great. Yeah, I love I love the paddle paddling animation. Wish you could look backwards. Yeah. Okay, I think our Z is changing too much. Yeah. Um, no, not that direction. Do you want the positive or negative Z? Um, we're looking for negative Z. We're gonna we're going for negative four fifty at, at X. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's just change one direction at a time then. I think this is the right direction. Oh, hold on. There's a uh, shipwreck here. Huh? Shipwreck. Oh, yes. You're right. They made it so the water can flow into like the fences. Oh, there's an air pocket right where the chest is, and the chest is empty. Oh. Amazing. Well, there might be more stuff. There's actually. another chest here. But I'm gonna drown. I'm sick. I'm gonna make some signs. That's how air works. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a bunch of golden iron and then emeralds in here. You can have that. 
you're the one who discovered the ship, so you should have it. Nice. Signs don't make air pockets. What? The sign didn't make an air pocket. Oh. Hmm. Can't use your can use our old tricks anymore. Yeah. Changed all that new aquatic update. Oh, I should have brought some sponges with me. Just quickly get all the stuff and get oh out gosh. of here. Oh gosh. Okay. Just barely. Yeah. It's only while swimming though. That's nice. Actually, the water in general seems a lot clearer. Yeah, it, it is. Because previously there was really no point looking into the water. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Oh, turtles. Yes, turtles. Look, turtles. You can actually kill turtles to oh. make a turtle helmet. Oh, we're home. Oh. <laughs> we need turtle suit? I mean, yeah, technically, but you can also... Um, if you make a make a turtle shell helmet, then you can breathe underwater with it. I have some uh, the materials in the house. If you want to make make a turtle shell hat. Oh, that's alright. You can breathe underwater, William. I know. I'll do it, coward. There's a gate right here, though. That you can just, oh, you can just switch over like that. All right, cool. You see, we have a fair amount of lapis. We can just buy some wool. Yeah, they're all downstairs. Trying to make these banners in our um, in the James's server, uh -huh. we just never found the flowers. Oh, I see. Well, now you have. I'll burn this kelp. I actually named all my weapons and equipment. Yeah? Yeah. What's your sword name? My sword's name is Seraphim. Huh. 
Do you know what a seraphim is? It's like an angel. Yeah. Do they have like a, like seven wings or something? Yeah, yeah. Basically, because like it, bec it's because that uh, uh, my sword has like the smite enchantment, which uh, basically is extra damage to like all undead things. Yeah. It's like cool. It's a holy sword. I name my bow Falling Star because like it shoots flaming arrows. So like if I shoot into a nice sky, it looks like a falling star. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll do a little bit of farming. You can die eight wool at once, right? I'm not misremembering that, right? What? You can die eight wool at once, right? I'm not sure. I think I think I think I think so. My farms used to be really inefficient. I used to just do like do two strips of farmland um, over like one like long strip of water. Yeah. But I now I see that only one like block of water can actually fertilize like a whole bunch of land around it. Now my farm's a lot more efficient. Yeah. Because I used to model the same way that the um, farms farms spawn in villages. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Yeah, I used to do it that way. Because I thought that that's just you know that's how it's done, but. Yeah, not really. Yeah, but not really. But I do kind of like that sort of irrigated look. Yeah, yeah, it does. Look irrigated. You know, William, potatoes are such a essential vegetable in real life. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't think it could really be called a vegetable because it's mostly starch. But yeah. yeah, but it's technically a vegetable. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's a. Uh, just drop this for you, I guess. Anyways. Um. Yeah. So. Because you you heard about how good potatoes are, right? Like it's in the game, or no, like in real life. Because apparently, the potatoes have like they literally have like in the skin, especially. Yeah. Uh, potatoes have like every like new every vitamin that's like essential to human survival, okay. except for vitamins A and D, which only appear in dairy. Isn't there vitamin A in like carrots? Is there? I thought so. I don't know about that. Bananas are also like a really like like a super fruit. They like provide everything. Yes, I mean everyone hears about potassium and carrots, but they have like got like everything else. I can't remember what though. There's like a chart that I saw once, but but like yeah, if you're really looking like a super like health food, then bananas is the way to go. People tend to. Uh, I remember talking to this other guy the other day. He was trying to like to gain weight or whatever, even yeah. though he worked out all the time, sure. because his metabolism was so high because of his <coughs> regimen. He was having a hard time gaining weight and muscle or whatever. I was like, 
Well, you know, it's really easy to gain weight, so I don't know like how to like, give you like tips because everyone knows how to gain weight, just losing the weight that's the problem. Yeah, I love people who don't have a problem, just like they don't understand. Yeah. Try hard. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wait, so now you get to make copies, William? Yeah. So you just so you just take like a, another blue banner and you uh, cast it together with the banner. Oh. Can you make copies so you can just like post it like around the fields or whatever? Just like that's our battle standard? Maybe. I see a lot of blue wool. Like you only you have to do the dye wool one at a time though. Oh I see, I see. But yeah, so like this guy he was telling me about how, how hard it was for him to gain weight. And I was like, you know what you can eat, just eat more fruit. Just add more fruit to your diet. Like that's it. Like just don't do anything else. <laughs> I was, and then, uh, but he was like, oh, but like, fruits have so much sugar in it. I was like, so maybe this is why you can't gain weight. <laughs> so reluctant to try anything. He said he eats grapes and apples. Like, that's it. <laughs> and I was like, there's lots of great food out there that's really good for you. You can try. Jeez. I want to gain weight, but I don't want to gain weight. <laughs> exactly. I was like, uh, this is why you can't gain weight, dude. Maybe just need more blue sheep. I grab some wheat. <gasps> no, one of my pumpkin seeds has been uh. Unseeded. Like, yeah, has been like ripped out of the ground or something. All right, we're gonna be seeing a lot more blue sheep from now. Yeah, I know. You gotta make those banners. Yeah. Gotta get that style. Yes. Uh, there's another big empty chest that's unlabeled you can put in there. Okay. Just have so many, so many riches, I just don't have just enough room for them. <laughs> just the way I like it. So many riches and in equal quantities as well. <laughs> how mysterious. Gee, I wonder how that happened. Yeah, I mean like this I made this I made this in creative before I invited William to play, so because we don't really have much else to do. I thought this would be more interesting instead of just uh, viewers watching us like mine wood for like 10 minutes straight. I don't know how to describe it. Like this is just probably more interesting to watch. Because like, I don't know, watching, uh, sometimes, sometimes like I skip intros for Let's Players because like I know the intro so many times I just, I just don't, don't, don't feel like watching it. I don't know how to describe the feeling. Like I'm, I'm uh, disillusioned to the um, starting phase of most games. Just don't want to go through that again and again and again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I made this, I made this world to. Um, I made this world to. Uh, fuck, I, don't know. I made this world to basically just not be concerned about finding more resources because that's like one of like mo one of my biggest pet peeves.
This is why I don't like playing a, a, a lot of uh, RBGs anymore. Because they take too much of my time. I've got better stuff to do. Like grind. Yeah. I don't have the patience for it anymore. I kind of like that there's no, uh, no real life with this. Like you can work on things if you want to. That there's no what? No, no, there's no like schedule. That you can work on the things that you want to work on. Uh huh. And, and that way, then it's, it's just like any other artwork. It's never going to be done. So. Might as well, you're yeah, saying? Just, like, yeah. just like do a little bit and just don't let it overwhelm you. But then, like, some of the RPGs, you're right. It's like. Oh, I can't really become the Archmage Yeah. I mean, no, no, RPGs are that I can play on my own time are okay. It's the m massive online multiplayer ones. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just don't have the time for it anymore. Too, much as, uh, too many people. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say that. I like playing a few friends, but I don't know. It's just like the systems change, and like it's like a live system. It's like I'm trying to make money in another world, I'm trying to make money in this one. If that makes sense. And plus, in MMOs, infl inflation hits really fast, so. I don't know how to describe the feeling. How do you make a golden apple again? Um, I think it's uh, I think it's golden ingots and an apple. I mean, I try, I just tried doing that, but maybe it's actually just gold ingots. I think it might be a. Uh, yeah, I know, but oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I think the uh, the super apple is uh, blocks. I see. I see. You know, I now just like pulled out of the pulled out of the game's reality again because like, if you really think about it, this is not realistic. Because you know, edible gold exists, but like it just passes through your body, it doesn't like add anything to, to your body. I'm gonna give you superpowers. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. I call my fishing uh, rod called Hunger of Neptune. Because <laughs> I put enchantments on it. I was going to say, like, like having a legendary sword and armor, sure, but a fishing rod. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's good. I mean, like, I was just uh, already, like, so far into naming my, all my other stuff. Oh, I I fished out another fishing rod. It's, an oh, yeah. it's enchanted. Interesting. Is it better than the Hooter Neptune? No, it's not. <laughs> far, far worse, actually. Oh, yeah. It's damaged, too. Yeah. Yeah, you get some good stuff from fishing. Mm-hmm. Not just fish anymore. Yeah, which I thoroughly enjoy. I like that you can fish up boots, too. Yeah. I think I've got like enchanted books, uh, like the different fish. Uh, what else? You know, I probably have a lot of fun. You know, but the thing is, like, I like fishing in games, but I don't like fishing simulators. These are too boring. <laughs> because uh, fishing, like, in separate games, like, already have like an interesting system, like, integrated with the fishing. Uh -huh. the fishing simulators they try to get like everything yeah it's a very realistic yeah. fishing simulator oh this is just you click a button you wait for it to go down yeah because that's how like real life fishing works you have to wait a long time yeah these are that those is these are wild animals you're catching they're very wa wary well, i mean like you don't have to fiddle around with tackle and 
yeah, yeah, and yeah. putting the hooks on and all yeah. that. These I built my fishing rod out of out of a um, out of a piece of wood and some a string from a spider. <laughs> and somehow, and like, and I enchanted it, and like, never mind getting string from a spider in the first place. Yeah, yeah, the string I got straight from the spider. I didn't have to like spin it or anything. Because <laughs> uh, that was a giant spider, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, so there's already like a suspension of reality, which, but like, it takes out all the. Uh, I wouldn't say that realistic fishing is not fun, because clearly people do it for a reason, like they do it for fun, but... Maybe it's not fun for you. I don't know, Have I kind of like the end result, I can eat it. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, you could go to a supermarket and get the end result. That's true. That's very true. Have you ever gone fishing? I have, actually, but uh, it was a catch and release sort of thing. So was it less fun? It was actually pretty thrilling. Yeah? Yeah, but it's just like, it took money and time. Yeah. When in the game, I can just boot it up and start fishing. Yeah. And then I go to the store and have some fish if I want to. And it's just a matter of convenience and, um, convenience. And, yeah. uh... I like the store bought fish. Are, they aren't, like, going out with rods most of the time. It's going to be, like, nets yeah, and Yeah, nets and, boats. yeah. Or, or, or it's farms. farmed, yeah. yeah. I like farm fish, actually. Yeah. People, people like, oh, you know, you should have to catch your wild because it's like so much more natural and stuff like that. Not necessarily. Farm fish can actually like rival wild fish in a lot of ways. I don't think I've ever really thought about having having farm fish as opposed to wild. You know. Yeah, it's yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you don't think about it, but I. So I don't know if I would even notice. I would actually think this. Uh, some of the farm fish is actually superior in quality. I think I've heard catfish is kind of like that because, like. In the wild, they're they're living in like bogs and really muddy water. Mm -hmm. That the water is a lot clearer and for the farm catfish. Yeah, that's a, that's the same thing for uh, salmon as well. I'm not sure about catfish. I don't know much about catfish, but I know that's the case for um, uh, for salmon because people are like oh you, know, you have to get like wild caught salmon from like the rivers of Alaska. I not necessarily. I I have heard that uh, that some of the farm salmon is not so good like environmentally. Yeah, they're like, better environmentally, that's right. Because of being raised in a farm, they're free from a lot of wild disease, which is the case for a wild salmon. And uh, plus, uh, no, salmon I, raised in captivity. Like, I, maybe I'm misremembering this, but I remember going to like the Monterey Bay Aquarium and um, like they have these um, little guides for like, uh, like different fish, like what's more sustainable and things like that. Uh-huh, right. And I think the wild cod was actually more sustainable than, than farmed. I don't, it didn't really say why, but. Oh yeah, well with, far with farm stuff, like with most agricultural practices, you need a lot of land and space and uh, resources. Maybe, maybe it was something like that, I don't know. But, um. Like, it was nothing about, it didn't say anything about the quality of these fish, just the, uh. Sustainability, yeah. Yeah, environmental <coughs> and all that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure either about the sustainability. That's a that's a question I don't know. I don't know because I can't answer that myself. I'll have to Google that later, I guess. But yeah. the quality of farm salmon is superior, in my opinion, because raising captivity, they put on a lot more fat. Sure. So like it, it's much better. P people like wild salmon because it's leaner and more healthier. But if you want flavor, then you go for the yeah yeah farm farm stuff. I've got uh, four banners now. Nice. I'm basically just waiting for sheep to grow wool. So speaking of suspension of belief, uh, disbelief, uh, sheep genetics. <laughs> yeah, sheep genetics. Yeah, that's uh, that's Lamarckism. Like in the in the you've heard of Lamarckism, right? Not. No, not really. Oh, okay. Uh, I I guess um because I've I've learned a lot about, about this in class because yeah. and also I'm also personally interested in this stuff. But Lamarckism is basically the theory. Um, he's when people were still figuring out evolution. Yeah. Is that the is that the it's the thought that animals 
uh, when they gain traits in their life, they would pass it on to their, to their uh, next generation. Like, he, like he, like he, like he, he suggested that giraffes got their long necks by extending their necks to get food off trees, and then their children have long necks. The thing is, he didn't have an understanding of uh, of uh, uh, molecular biology like we do, so he didn't know yeah. that that's not how it works. But that was the that was the, actually the accepted theory for quite some time. Was that before uh, Mendel and his experiments? Or? Yes. Or were we around the same time? I don't know. Well, I think he's yeah, before. Yeah, we're talking about science because we're yeah. talking about the suspension of disbelief in uh, um, video games, mm. and how and how William here is breeding sheep. But the thing is, if it was really like realistic, then all the sheep would be bred to have either white, black, or brown wool, and yeah. not just whatever crazy color I dyed them before. The thing is, when the sheep eat grass and then their wool grows out again, it's the same color that I dyed it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that too. That's also a, a suspension of disbelief. That's a yeah, that's. I mean, that's just a convenience in the space of the game. I mean, like Minecraft is clearly not planet Earth, but just, I'm just taking this lapis lazuli and shoving it into their genes. Uh, yeah, just like just be a blue sheep now. You're a different species now. But the thing is, they're not different species. The sheep all independent are not different species because the definition of a species is that they're animals that can um, uh, that can like, produce fertile offspring. Yeah. The thing is, that's also a confusion. And just so, and, and clearly, it's just a way for humans to. Uh, there's no such thing as species. It's just a way for humans to classify different animals because brown bears and polar bears can have fertile offspring. So that, does that mean they're the same species? So that's a that's that's a question that some scientists have. But yeah, Lamarckism is utter bullshit. Well, like for the species thing, I guess you could say that. So maybe like polar bears and brown bears are the same species, but like different. Um, Just different coats, yeah. Like uh, strains or whatever. Yeah, like um, how there's different breeds of breed dogs. Yeah. Because wolf, wolves and dogs have fertile offspring as well. They're just called wolf dogs. Sure. So there's extensively bred to look different. So it's like artificial. Yeah, artificial. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. But on the other hand, horses and donkeys, for example, are different species because their offspring right. uh, can't right. have offspring. Right, mule, mules are mules are infertile, right? Right. What I'm saying is, like, species can be an actual thing. Like, like yeah, it's a way to classify animals, but... Would you just call it just a different breed? Sure. So, yeah. like, what I'm saying is that it's not just something that was made up out of a hat, it's just... Right, right, right. These are... Yeah, as a basis, it's something, like, real. I took like um, some of the, these the classes that I take here uh, at SJSU like were about like evolution and like prehistoric life, yeah. and they're they're supposed to fulfill a, a GE requirement. But I took it because I'm genuinely interested in this kind of stuff. Sure, yeah. yeah. Probably like one of the most like amazing things that I've like that I've uh, um, I, mean, I wrote a paper about this, but like. Um, so the thing is, where uh, it's learning like the difference between like a fact and a theory. Sure. Because you know how you you've heard that like scientific theories are not like they're not facts. They're sure. they're they're ob they're what? Hypotheses. Yeah, they're hypotheses that have been tested many times, and generally that's it's leaning towards a trend of what the hypothesis says. But it's not, but the, that it's not. They'll never be a fact because there might be some evidence that will contradict it. Yeah. Because you can't test everything. Yeah, you can't test everything. So for something to be a theory or a hypothesis, it has to be testable and falsifi uh, falsifiable. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, people were like, oh, you can't like test evolution. Like uh, people thought like evolution is uh, just like a, but the thing is evolution is a fact, but it's not the theory. It's the observation that evolution is happening. That's a fact. We see it happening, it's an observation, but how it happens, that's a theory. If that makes any sense. I think so. Yeah. There's a zombie pigman somewhere. Oh, must I heard the portal. Oh gosh. Huh? Oh gosh, where did that grunting come from? Where is it? I guess by the portal. I don't see it. Did it go back in? Yeah, it could happen. Do you hear it anymore? I still hear it. Where did it go? Is it underwater? Could it have fallen into the water? Wait, how could I hear if it's grunting if it's underwater? Because I heard it really loud just now. Oh, there's a drowned. 
but I definitely see the subtitles. Yeah, me too. Mm. So, so yeah. Um, oh, it's underwater. Next week, we're not going to be doing a regular thing, correct? Uh, right. Oh, that's right, yeah. I found the pigment. Where? Uh, do you know where I am? Uh, I'm by the portal. Oh. Where is it? Oh, what the heck? Is it getting the uh, conduit power? Um, I'm not sure. Like, I'm pretty sure they drowned. Well, it's dead anyways. Well, kill the baby. I got a golden sword and I'm rich. This is just like a sim this is just like a, uh, um, a symbol, like, of status. Ornamental. Yeah, ornamental. I'm gonna enchant it. I just like enchanting things, I don't know why. Put it on the wall. Oh, I have some bottles of enchanting here I never realized I put here. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that will be for later. Right now I just want to see what I can enchant. Six banners, that should be good for now. Are these still? You can hang them somewhere. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, it's not centered though. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, I didn't I didn't make that make this place centered. I mean it happens. <laughs> I guess I have to put some on the other side now. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I like how they flap a little. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a definitely the prettier, prettier part of these banners. Stand them up too. Yeah, I like that as well. I like how you can put them on fence posts as well, and like they'll stand up on it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put one on the donkey post. Yeah. Oh, it's got a torch on it. Oh, you can what break the it? torch if you want. Hold on. Like, I like how the banner like is put there, and like it's just like this is the property of Ginga. Yeah, you should design your own banner. Yeah, I could. There's websites you can use. There's what? Uh, websites. Websites. Yeah, I found a website where, where you can like, um, it basically lets you pick the patterns and colors. Well, I thought you meant in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But you mean just like this design a personal emblem for myself? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it is your house. Oh, wait, you mean you designed the sun by yourself and then on a server you can put that there? Well, I mean, like... This is not a pre-made design, you mean? Yeah. You made this yourself yeah. outside on a website and then you can put it in this game. Oh, it's like the website gives... Like it has all the uh, different patterns you can put in banners in Minecraft, um, and then it gives you like a recipe that you can use to make a it unique in the recipe game. to you, right? Well, it's not unique. It's just uh, it's like like it gives you the steps in crafting it in the game. Like these, like this banner is made like just using the uh, Minecraft like like the in-game systems. Wait, so you can you can submit your own designs and then they'll put it in the game. You're saying? No, it's. Uh, Wait, I'm, I'm having trouble trying to. I'm having trouble deciphering what you're trying to tell me. It's like what the website is is. Uh, it's like it tells you what patterns are are available in the game. Oh, but and they're then, not. They don't show up in the recipe book. You just got to do it yourself. Yeah. I see. Like it, it tells you what recipes are available in in the game, and then, like you click the buttons and it shows up on the website so you can see what it looks like before you boot up the game. Okay. And then okay. you can use that, then it tells you the recipe to So this is already work. built in in the game, you yeah. just have to look it up. Yeah. Okay. So I got really confused what you were trying to yeah, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if I can use this to breathe. Yeah. 
I mean, you don't have to breathe around here. Yeah. I mean, it's the conduit will do that for you. Wait, the, why did the conduit attack the zombie? Oh, just in case the zombie thinks they're neutral. But it didn't check the drown. Maybe it wasn't close enough. Yeah, it probably wasn't close enough. That thing is so cool. I love the conduit. It's really nice looking. Isn't that funny when you're, like, like swimming and you, you get, like, lowered to the ground? What? Well, it's like, you know how you go into the different pose when you're uh, swimming? Yeah. And it, like, actually makes you lower. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, like, swim through, like, one block spaces, that's right. Yeah. Hey, there's iron down here. What? Found some iron down here. Down where? Underwater. I don't know where you are. There's a bunch of gravel everywhere. I see you. I'm uh, kind of behind you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, just, just standing underwater. Oh, I see. Oh, there's something really neat. If you swim up here this way... Uh, what? Here. So, like, if you swim up here this way, I made this wooden bridge here, but the thing is, like, there's actually, like, a little, like, bay. Like, this is a river. See, is now that I've closed that part off... Yeah. Um, now this become, like, a little bay here. Oh, I see. Like, it's, like, doctor ships inside here. Yeah. You know, this thing used to be a little island until I built it up. So like yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there are like multiple block ships. Yeah, I know that'd be so cool. I like the um, like the Archimedes ship mod. It's pretty cool. Archimedes ship mod is that the one where you could where like a whole ship is like one block, right? You yeah. like you build a multi multi exactly. ship and then you put a block on it, and it makes it one block. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty a, cool. It's a cool mod. It's just really buggy. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's hard when yeah. you like Minecraft. Also, another suspension of disbelief where you're like wearing full armor and still swimming like oh, a yeah. fish. Yeah. <laughs> with a full plate shield. Fully laden with goods. The thing is, when you add such realistic things like that, you would call it a survival game. Minecraft is it's still a survival game, but like it's also a little bit of sandbox game. Yeah, that's true. It's not it's not Rust, but. <laughs> It still has some, uh, I remember people really un unhappy when people added the, uh, when they added the uh, hunger for the first time. Oh, to Minecraft? Yeah. Oh, the cleric sells uh, uh, bottles of enchanting for six emeralds. Yeah, that's where you got them. Yeah, that's totally where I got them. Totally didn't exhaust it in inventory or anything. Where are you? Uh, I'm just swimming like outside the conduit area. Okay, because I got some bottles of enchanting. We're going to share with two of us. Okay, I'm just going to retrieve the banner I put down here. But it's really dark. <laughs> oh, no. Like I wanted to see if, um, like the banner could be used to make an air pocket. Uh huh. Is it, it? It kind of does. It's just like it's a, it's like a low one. Oh. So it's not like two blocks high, so you can't, uh, um, can't, like you can't really breathe in it. Oh, I see. I see. Like I found if you like swim into it, then it gives you a bit of air, so then you stand up. Oh, I see. I have no idea where you are. Yeah. Um, I think it is like an. Oh, I see it. Oh, you sign out far. Yeah. Because it had to get out of the uh, conduit for you. I see, I see. Because I know there's a mod in Skyrim, it's called, um, I 
Um, there's a modern scanner that basically adds like realistic, uh, um, realistic like uh, uh, features to Skyrim because you know Skyrim is a very cold and uh, cold northern place, right? Sure. So they add things like coldness levels. They can actually freeze to death, like it's frost damage. So you have to like make tents and like uh, you can build fires and like to warm yourself up and stuff like that. Like realistic hunger, like realistic needs and stuff like that. Sure. Feels like eat to get. It. HP back or things like that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, um, he's like, you know, certain things would happen when you would, uh, because the thing is, like, you can, in Skyrim, you can basically pause the game, eat 64 sacks of flour, and then return back to the game. <laughs> that's just, that's like just not. not even bread, it's just. <laughs> it's just the flour, yeah. Oh, yeah, Breath, Breath of the Wild was like that as well. Yeah, that's true. You can stop mid boss fight, eat 50 apples. Yeah. What do you think, Willie? Oh, we did start kind of late. Huh? We did start kind of late. Wait, what was the question? Uh, it's 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, we started kind of late, so let's go maybe 10, 20 minutes over since we started about that late. Alright, alright. Yeah. Did you still want to do the Ender Dragon? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, you need a lot of ladders. Okay. Let's see that. So you're tooling up there? Yeah, I'm gonna tool up. Yeah, there's something I forgot to get. Oops, not cracking. Where did my hand go? So just make as many ladders as you can, because you know what, we gotta destroy those things, right? Oh, okay. You have, yeah. have you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually fought the Ender Dragon in vanilla. Oh, really? Yeah. Ouch. How's it, how does a feather falling enchantment work for boots? I, don't know. I think it just reduces it. I don't know. Reduces fall damage, right? Yeah. <coughs> um, Huh, Are you okay? Me. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Oh, that sounded really, that sounded kind of fake, actually. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, cough, cough, cough. cough. <laughs> like I said the word cough. <laughs> Practically. <laughs> Wait, where are my arrows? I'm gonna make some more instant damage arrows. Alright. Taking ladders. Oh, yeah, I made some of these. Some what? Or, hang on, let me find you. Hey. Try jumping. <laughs> It's a potion of leaping. Yeah, I see the uh, little icon. Little bunny rabbit. Yeah. I'm gonna mix up this up too. There we go. Woo! Woo hoo! Woo hoo! Woo! 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 Beware of throwing down your animals in a pen because they can jump over the fence if you do that. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. I've got like over a second half of ladders. Okay. I think that's enough. 
Make some more just in case. Okay. Because you know those obsidian pillars get really tall. Yeah. The rest of you look out also this. Yeah, it does. So then I can just like uh, shift click the uh, ladder recipe. Mm hmm. Won't let me do special arrows, geez. Where the and the rest is look. I have to do everything myself. Alright, I have uh, three stacks of letters. Awesome. Should I make more? Yes. Alright. Cool. Take uh, two stacks of logs. I think I'm gonna have to brew some more potions. Actually, I don't think I'm even gonna be using this many, um, this many uh, um, arrows against a dragon. Because I'm only get, get, gonna be able to attack them when it comes twice close to the ground. Okay, I have like 10 stacks of ladders now. Okay, I think that. <laughs> Should I make more? No, that's enough. That's enough. I'll, I'll give you five stacks. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Put some stuff down so I can. You got that? Yeah, I got it. And let me move some of my stuff around. So when I drop stuff, like it, I don't lose a bunch of shit. Yeah. Need that. Need that. There oh. is an ender chest down here if you want to keep some stuff in there. Oh. This is not a lot. There's some stuff I don't want to let go of. Like it's time to make some better armor. Yeah. There's some enchanted books down there too, if you want to. Oh, I'm throwing bottles of enchanting at him. Oh. I got 11 levels. <laughs> it's not that much, actually. That was a full stack of a bottle of enchanting. In here. Alright, what do we got? That's a good enchantment for your sword. It's true. It's how much I'm gonna be using that though. In the uh, Ender Dragon fight. Oh shoot. You mean your sword? Yeah, I wanna fly, it'll, it'll fly close to the ground, and then that's when you can hit it the most. Yeah, but with Sweeping Edge. Wait, what does Sweeping Edge do? Uh, just gives more damage to your sword, but I forget no, what. Because the thing is, like, it'll hit, it hits multiple, multiple enemies at once, right? Yeah. So it just increases the melee damage for when it, like, hits multiple enemies. Yeah, but it's mostly just going to be the dragon, not so much the enderman. Oh. I'd rather have sharpness. Oh, I was testing out enchantments. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to that. See, the unbreaking diamond chest plate's not gonna be that great. 
It's not going to give any more protection. Okay, sharpness 3 on the diamond sword skull, right? Huh? Sharpness 3 on the sword. Maybe we should bring some blocks, too. Yeah. Some cobblestone or something. I have enough XP for one enchantment. I mean, there's more bottles of enchanting. How, how many more? <laughs> Look in the box. Over here. This one. What game is like? Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, that's enough. I. Stop. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> like, like William and Minnie Chimes. Close to thirty. I don't. Oh my god, all the real servers have grinders. Well, nah, okay, fine. <laughs> Gosh, James, shaming me at my own house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's a critic. Fire protection on this. You can. It just has to be the right ones. Uh, like I'm sticking in the, uh, the enchanting table. Oh, you, I think you have to do that on an anvil.
I'm just brewing some health potions. What enchantments do you have on your shield? Um, mending, unbreaking, and protection four. It's not letting me put a protection one on my shield. Or if it has to be like a like a generic shield. Or Interesting. I don't know why. I wonder if I should make this instant healing splash potions. Some what? Splash potions for healing potions. Oh. So I don't have to waste time drinking, I'll just splash it on us. Yeah. Like on us grenade in Overwatch. Do you play Overwatch? No. Okay, never mind. Because there, there's one of the support characters, one of her abilities is to throw a healing grenade. Is that the uh, sniper? Yeah, the sniper. The newer one? Yeah. It harms enemies, like it prevents them from healing. Are you ready? Just trying to figure out how to enchant the shield. Shield can receive the following enchantments only, only through an anvil, and breaking, mending, and cursed vanish. Hmm. I forgot what has the highest saturation points in the game for food. Yeah, I don't remember either. I guess like steak or something. Apple has the least. Probably yeah. like cookies or something. Wait, hang on, I'm looking at this um, chart wrong. I believe the least is a slice of cake or a clownfish, a raw clownfish. I just can't. This anyway. Does this computer have a mouse? This one? Yeah. I can look it up on there without like staring it. There's like okay for the viewers like there's a computer like right behind this one that I'm just looking at. Um. It's a golden carrot that's the most. But right below that is cooked pork chop and a steak. Yeah, I'll just take those. Yeah. Cooked chicken is actually a lot lower than I thought it was. Huh. Let's do pork, because I like pork. And also because we don't have pigs on the other farm yet, so. We don't? No. What are this other farm? In the James server. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. I think as soon as these are done cooking, we'll go and fight.
see it says some pink banners by your bed. Huh? See it has these pink banners by your bed. Yeah, I thought that would make a, a neat look. Mm -hmm. I feel like they need something on them. Yeah, they're a bit plain. Yeah. Uh, that's up to you. Yeah. So, uh, sometime later. Oh, whatever. I'll take the chicken with me. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Yeah. Okay, because I'm ready to go fight. Yeah. Oh, I need to put these uh, balls of chanting back. Oh, you need to put all your stuff back in case you die over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the yeah. like space and time bending thing on this portal. Yeah, I mean, what's it being a portal? Bending space and time. That's that's yeah, that's true. Okay, one, two, three, go. Uh, oh. Huh. All right. Uh, okay, I can see there's that direction. Oh god, oh god. Stay away from the demon. No, 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 stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. Oh, no, I died. No, I'm back. No, I'm coming. Oh, I did respawn on my bed. Interesting. You did or you didn't? I did. Okay. Gotta go. My items are on the timer. Five minutes. Should be okay. I'll, uh... My stuff? No. Well, <laughs> that's uh, working on the crystals now. Yeah, continue on the mission. Keeping my eyes down. Oh. Are you back? Yep, yeah, I'm back. I'll put all my stuff back on my head. The dragon's breath. Bring any bottles? Bottles of what? Just empty bottles for the dragon's breath. Oh no, I did not. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh shit. Oh yeah, the uh, yeah, 
probably you probably got that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't remember that? No, I don't. What's the last time you fought the Ender Dragon? A long time. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Ah. I tried to breathe on me. Ow. He breathed on me. I'm gonna stay by the center and damage him whenever he comes down. Yeah. He's got a lot of dragon breath in the way. I'm on top of one of the uh, pillars. Nice. If I, if I hit this thing, it's just gonna knock me off. It lasts a long time. Oh god, no, 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 oh, jeez. With magic. Oh, oh. Probably should have brought some TNT, might be good, actually. Yeah. He's just regenerating, this is useless. Yeah, there's still a uh, tower left. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, thanks for asking. Yes, but how fantastic? On a scale of dead to ten. Ouch, 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 ouch. What about now? already destroyed what the heck I might have already done it yeah. I shot a bunch I can't see it I think I think we got all the crystals okay awesome I don't think my arrows work on him actually because yeah. I tried shooting him and it just doesn't Jesus. 
Oh. Yeah, I think when he's on the uh, on the fountain like that, he's uh, immune to arrows. Oh, I see. Oh my god! What? I got blasted backwards. Oh yeah. Because of that. They gave him a lot of new tricks and uh boosted up the Yeah. Enderman noises are so annoying. Yeah. Oh jeez. Ah. Jeez, this is impossible to hit. Yeah. I don't think any of my arrows are hitting him. Oh, there we go. Down the sword with that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I don't like it, the <laughs> I don't know. Yes, the EXP! Too. Yes, sweet EXP! Yeah, you know what? I got the, uh... Oh, we didn't bring pistons, did we? No. Oh, you're being attacked. Yeah. Oh, God, what the hell? Get me, you little bastard. Come on. Are you looking at them? You keep looking at them, aren't you? I'm trying not to. Keep your eyes down. Aim at their, aim at their knees. Where their knees. Just aim at where their knees would be. Neither do we. Yeah. We should have brought water traps with us. Oh yeah. Just dig like dig some place around us and then just place water all around. Stop. Don't they get stuck in boats though? I don't know. I didn't bring a boat. I left my boat or something. It's not the sort of thing you think of. Like, I'm going to the end. I just had a boat. Bring a boat. <laughs> Let's see. There's nothing really stopping us. Hang on, I can get the piston. Hang on. Okay. What are you gonna do with the piston? Get the egg? Where'd it go? Um. Huh? Where'd oh, the egg go? It's over here. Oh, okay. The Enderman is standing on it. Okay, let me get the piston. <laughs> I got it. Let's get him out of there. Yes, I got the egg. Nice. Uh, that's it. Also, okay. it just pops when you do that. Huh? It just like pops out when it does that. Yeah. Alright. Alright, right, awesome. Yay! Yay! Okay. We vanquished it. Now let's go back. Yeah, let's go watch this weird poem. Yeah. Oh! Are we just gonna let this play or? Uh, no. I want to get out. I would like to go. There we yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Da, 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 da. Let me get my item frame. Item 
So I think that's the end of it for today, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll just end the stream and then we'll wrap up and stuff in the game af right after. Yeah. Alright, thanks All for right. watching, guys. Yeah. It was lots of fun. Yeah. Um, even though I did like cheat like 80% of that. It was on stream. Yeah. <laughs> we everyone saw. Yeah, I know, but it was fun everyone anyways. Knows. I like doing things this way. Uh, yeah. How do I? Where's the computer? That, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. But yeah. We had a lot of fun. Uh, next oh, week we're shit. doing extra lives, so please come and watch that and um, donate if you can. We're doing it to help kids in hospitals, yeah. so it's for a good cause. Which hospital is it again? It's uh, I think it's in Oakland. In Oakland? Yeah. Is that the but yeah, that's Jude extra life. It's one of the St. Jude's hospitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's on our. It's on our page. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Let's end it, please. And uh, I'm gonna let you guys clean up. Yeah. Yeah, of course.